Hi, this is Anna from Cutie Patooties by Anna. Today I am going to show you how I put armatures into my mini silicone babies. Um, I've only done it on mini silicone babies, so I won't necessarily recommend this for bigger babies. And if you do, do it at your own discretion. Okay, I'm gonna go over the materials here. Um, you're gonna need some um, wire. I got a 22 gauge wire and a 24 gauge wire. Um, I plan on using the bigger wire for the bigger 10 inch baby and I plan on using the 24 gauge wire on this mini silicone baby. I think this baby's about three inches. Some thread and some slightly heavier thread, a different assortment of long needles. Uh, you're gonna need some silicone glue to repair after you put the armatures, toothpicks to apply that, a little hemostat to hold the wires, a wire cutter, and a fine nose needle plier wire twister, scissor. All right, let's get started. Um, I have my uh, blank doll over here. This method is best to do before you paint. That way, if there is any damage, if you mess up a little bit, or if you can, you're concerned about it showing, then at least you can cover it over. Uh, but I have also done this method on other silicone babies that were not mine and that were already painted and it still turned out just fine. All right, so the first thing I have here is a needle. Um, this is like a doll needle. Um, I got it at my craft store. And I picked a needle that is about the size of the baby's arm. Um, sometimes you can't get them you know, long enough, but luckily I was able to find this one that was really long. Um, my method for inserting armatures is to be as discreet as possible. So whenever I am going to place an armature in an arm, I will use things like the ear, uh, you could use the top of the head, especially if you're planning to root. Um, if you have a pocket of mouth deep enough, you could technically go through the mouth. And if it were a ball uh, joint uh, head doll, then you could simply remove the head and put it through the ball joint. Okay, so I have my needle here. I have this uh, thread that's fairly thick. It's slightly thicker than regular sewing thread. I'm gonna loop this through my needle. Okay, and then you're just gonna make a little knot. And this is just what we're gonna use to pull the wire through the arm. Very simple. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna get our wire ready to put in the baby. So like I said, I'm gonna use a 22 gauge wire for this baby. I picked that light color just in case it shows through, but I haven't had that issue yet. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So you're gonna cut a piece. You're gonna, like I said, measure the size of your baby. So if I'm trying to put a wire from here to here, I have to measure a distance about this big. So approximately there to there. And then you would fold it over because you want to you're gonna twist it so you're gonna get a piece the size of your limb okay so i'm just gonna show you how i twist it just so you can see what i'm gonna do here and you might need this is where you might need a little wire twister at this point sometimes it's easy enough to do with your hands and you twist all the way to the end and you're gonna end up with a loop on the first side where you started okay that's what you want you want a little loop about that size all right and just for time purposes i already have one ready to go i already measured the length of my baby from approximately ear to hand and if it's too long then we'll simply cut it shorter okay and here comes the magic part super easy once you have these two things ready you're gonna get your needle thread and just make a loop all you want is something you can pull the wire through okay very easy okay we're gonna put it in the left arm so I am going to use the ear canal to put poke my needle so that if anybody were just trying to figure out where I put them through they might not necessarily notice so the whole goal is to hide you're gonna poke and then you're gonna start turning and this is just the part where you have to be careful because this is a sharp you can poke yourself if you're not careful 
You're gonna advance the needle and you can kind of feel it in there. And this is the part where you just have to be very careful. Okay, and I see that it's right about to my shoulder. So now I am going to pass it through the shoulder. I feel it there. And I know this looks really horrible what I'm doing to this baby, but you're gonna have to kind of guide it in the middle. To try to be careful not to poke yourself like i said you gotta be very careful and if you don't feel confident enough doing this don't do it please okay and i already feel it and okay here's a trick to get the wire out or the needle out i should say you're gonna try to also be discreet about where you exit so i am going to use the inner part right here between the thumb and the finger to pull out the needle so you can't really see it on the baby. Okay, here we go. And like I said, be very careful because this is a sharp needle. All needles should be sharp, okay. And if it pokes out through the baby, don't worry. It's not a big deal. It won't hurt the baby. And then here we go. Oh, there we go. All right, I just poked through it. This is the part where that hemostat's gonna come handy because you're gonna wanna grab that needle you don't want to do it with your fingers so you're going to grab it right there you're going to pull this makes it look like i ruined my baby but i promise you the baby is doing just fine and as you can see all i have sticking out here is my little um thread the wire that's actually going to stay in the baby and right through here i have um the needle so now i'm going to just gently pull very slowly and it's gonna go right through the baby it's gonna go very easy I've never had any issues getting the wires in they usually slide you know nicely and then you just gotta watch the only thing that is that you have to be careful with the ears because it can get snagged from the wire so just be careful that's the only thing that I have noticed at times and here we're gonna just keep pulling just be careful with your baby's arm you wanna kind of bunch it up a little bit and pull because you don't want to yank it off silicone can break so you have to be very careful I'm gonna pull some more and it's going in okay we're almost in and it gets a little bit easier once the actual wire is in the baby's arm. Alright, and it's almost completely in. Alright, so first things first. You're going to check the hand because when that wire comes through, which there it is, you see the wire? That's about where you want to stop pulling the wire. Now you're just gonna fix the baby's hand so it doesn't bunch up like it's bunched up right now. Like you actually wanna give the baby normal anatomy because this can make your arm look longer than it is. Okay, so like I said, we're almost at the end. I was able to see the wire at the end of the hand and I just have a tiny little piece sticking out. This is the part where you're gonna measure symmetry of the arms to make sure they're the same length. So you're gonna just put them up against and see they're still the same length. So that's right about where you don't wanna push the wire any further. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to grab our little wire twister. And I'm gonna show you kind of like what the little hole looks like. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, it's just a tiny little hole. And you see, but it's gonna be hidden inside the ear. So now we are going to just twist this a little bit in and you're gonna just gently pull until it disappears in there. And I'm gonna show you what that's gonna look like. Okay. All right. See, now it's barely, barely there. All right, so it's pretty much gone. The only thing we have to do now is seal it. 
Uh, but another thing I'm just gonna show you, see, the baby's already able to pose the arm as in comparison to this one without the wire. So now you're gonna cut the thread once you're happy of where you want your wire to stay. Make sure, you know, you always have the option to pull it in for more, to um, pull it back from here. That's why we always make a little loop. So now we're gonna cut this little thread. try to cut it all right and now we're gonna seal all right guys so after you're finally happy where you have your placement of your armatures and everything looks fine and you've uh, already adjusted the length of your baby's arm to make sure it's not extra long or extra short now now you're gonna seal it um, I have some silicone glue here so poxy and you're simply going to open up and you're going to fill the holes that you made. I just use a little toothpick. Oops, I guess a little. I'm just gonna use a little toothpick and take a little dab of this. And I am going to first do the hand. See that little hole? I'm just gonna put a little dab in there. Probably could use a little smaller amount too much and remove any excess and we're just gonna let it cure and we're gonna repeat that process if needed I'm gonna go ahead and seal up the little ear too just a tiny little dab the smallest one you can get is probably enough I'm gonna stretch the ear if you can and you're gonna try to get it in the little hole I love putting the armatures through the ear because you really, really can't tell. You really can't see. And we're just gonna let that cure. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you quickly another example of how I put armatures in a smaller baby. And I'm just gonna show you one part and then we'll be done. Thank you. Okay, I'm quickly gonna do the same thing on a smaller baby. Um, I have a smaller needle, smaller thread, and a smaller gauge wire. I'm using 24 gauge wire and I also doubled it up. I like to put them in the legs through the belly button, but I suppose you could even use the back if needed to. So I'm just gonna poke through, find the middle. I guess try to stick, stay, stay as close to the middle as possible. If you go too close to the edges, you're gonna pinch the silicone and it's gonna show. And if you happen to do it, just back up the needle and thread again. There we go. I like to pull it out from underneath the toe, right where the big toe is. right through it's easier to do in a smaller baby by the way the 10 inch baby was a little bit harder and then you just gently pull at the edge there it is at the edge now so now we're just going to check for symmetry so it's about the same same size okay so now we are going to loop our wire like I showed you before. Loop it. Cut the excess wire. And then we're gonna finally just pull the remaining wire through and cut the thread. And we're done. And you're gonna cut the thread. And now you're gonna do the same thing is just patch up the little holes, the little belly button. You're gonna patch it up and also the little foot, just like the other one. And as you can see, even though I haven't sealed it yet, the armature is already working, see? Now I can bend the leg, can straighten it. Okay, so it works. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some other babies that I put in armatures in that are not made by me. Um, I have this cute little elf from Elfie Dolls. As you can see, I put armatures in the arms. 
I didn't do the legs, I just did the arms. And here is um, one from Evelyn from Evelina Evergreen. It's one of her cute little knobbies. I put armatures in this little baby in the arms and in the legs. So now the baby could do like a little yoga pose. And this is one of my um, other babies. It's a little five inch silicone baby, Anjali. I put him in her arms and in her little legs too. So she's a little more poseable too. Okay, well that concludes this video. Please share, like, and subscribe if you would like me to do more videos where I do tutorials. Thank you.